What's good, you boys? It's your boy, Gilly. And I'm back. Another week, another haul. This one's going to be around 15 kilograms with just as much heat as the last one. In this haul, we've got the big red boots, a bunch of designer, a heap of extremely high quality blank clothing, a heap of shoes, accessories. Now, as always, this haul was shipped with Chugu. I used EEMS and it only took six days to get to my house. A lot of you guys always ask me about what's the best shipping. For right now, for Australia, EEMS seems to just be incredible. It costs about 300 yarn more and it shaves off about a week of waiting. I think that's honestly worth it. Now, I'm not sure about using another agent if it's as fast, but I know the Shugu times for EEMS are absolutely incredible. And another thing as well, if you're a new user that signs up to Shugu, you get $100 off your next haul. Now, I don't know how long they're running this for, but that is an insane deal. So if you've never used Shugu before, I highly recommend signing up. The link to sign up will be the top link in the description. All the items I show in this video will be found in the link tree. And if you wanna know how to buy them, there will also be a tutorial at the top of the link tree. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. Last haul we did, I started off with the shirts. I thought this time, why not start off with the jackets? Because all you Australians watching me, we're going into winter. We need some winter gear. So I thought, why not show off a few hoodies? Now, these first few items are all blanks. What that means is these are unbranded. So for you guys that are into clothing design, want to start up your own brands, this is going to be right up your alley. A little disclaimer, these cost a lot of money, but the quality you're getting is absolutely incredible. You just have to feel it in hand to understand just how good these are. But to put it in perspective, these are probably the best hoodies I've ever got in hand, but they do cost a little bit more. Now, the gray and black hoodie, they are 400 GSM. Essentially, that just means it's better quality, it's heavier. So I'll start off with my first two favorites, and it's the most expensive ones. And these are just regular pullover hoodies in this gray colorway. Now, this gray one is 400 GSM. It costs just over $30. For you guys that aren't into all the logos, this will also be something for you. For 30 bucks, you're getting quality that I have not found in any stores around me. 400 GSM meaning when I rock this out, I start to sweat very fast. It's super insulated, extremely heavy weight. So you take that into account if you live in Australia like me and it is hot 90% of the year. It's in a really nice ash gray color as well. There's a heap of other colors on there like purples, yellows, but I went for the ash gray and I think it is an incredible looking color. Next up, we have the black one. This one is also 400 GSM, a slightly different material. The inside of the other one's like a satin. This one's a little bit more rough, but still 400 GSM, extremely heavy weight, good for those winter months. And black, you cannot go wrong with black. Not much to say about this one. It's the exact same, just in a black colorway. Also has the same price tag of $35. The next one's a funny color. I don't know what to call it. It's not really a gray. I'd call it like a rust gray. It's got like an aged look to it. This one's slightly cheaper coming in at about $25. But once again, the cropping on this is absolutely incredible. It has really wide shoulders. The paneling on the back is like nothing I've ever seen before. Now for the sizing with all these hoodies, definitely size down one size. Like I usually fit like an L hoodie, but with these, I would honestly go medium. And I'm 6'3", to put that in perspective. They have very long arms on them. So if you don't like that really oversized fit, Definitely one to two sizes down on all of these hoodies. All of these are 10 out of 10s. I can't recommend them enough. Now, moving on to the next one. This guy was also the supplier for the Yeezy Gap hoodies. He makes the Yeezy Gap hoodies just without the logos. These are extremely oversized. For these, size down at least two sizes. You can see in this, I just look ridiculous. If you don't like it fitting oversized, just go down two sizes. These things fit massive. Not sure if this is how the retail ones fit. These are extremely comfortable but fit extremely oversized. So it is a little bit of a downside. Just take that into account. And the final blank piece is a zip up. I tried all different types of hoodies. Now this zip up fits true to size. These zip ups come in a bunch of crazy colors, such high quality. The zips are really nice quality. The inside fabric is better quality than any zip up I've ever had. Really thick hoods on them as well. There will be a color in there for you. A bunch of bright colors if you're into that. There's also a bunch of darker tones as well. Like your grays, ashes, charcoals. All of that is in there. So that is all the blank hoodies from the haul. Again, all 10 out of 10s. And I really recommend you guys start getting into basics. Whether you're just a regular buyer, you want to elevate your basics. Or you want to start your own clothing brand. All round 10 out of 10s to start off the haul. Next up, we have the Spider-Man Montclair jacket. Now, this is one of the most requested items for the winter of last year. And I finally have it in hand. And, and this is my new daily jacket. Now, if we're talking about compliments, this jacket brings a lot of attention. I wear it on nights out and people are just obsessed with how this jacket looks. It's just a conversation starter. And since it's got that shine to it at night, people can just see it a whole lot more with that spiderweb pattern. Goes with pretty much any outfit. It's really true to size. Now, this one, it's pricey coming in at about $170. But the retail price of this thing is ridiculous. It was a super limited run 
and i'm pretty sure you have to pay resale for it now so it's even more expensive but for 170 dollars this is one of the best batches now i'm pretty sure they've updated this because i did buy it a long time ago so if you get it now i'm pretty sure yours will be even better than mine quick disclaimer as well when you ship it out it's going to be extremely flat like when I got it in, this thing was as flat as like a t-shirt and people were having an absolute sook on TikTok saying it looked really shit, but then you left it for a week and it puffs up and it looks like retail. Without a doubt, this is an absolutely stunning piece, but the price tag definitely drops it down because I do not think it is worth $170. If this was $100, this would be an easy 10 out of 10, but the price is going to drop it down. I'm going to give this one like an 8.5 out of 10. There is a few flaws. I don't like how the hood sits on the back as well. I recommend if you want this jacket, go for this batch. It's going to be the best one going out right now. And like I said, it's going to attract some attention, start some conversation. So if you're not into that, steer away from this jacket. Moncler absolutely outdid themselves on this collab. And yeah, the Spider-Man Moncler puffer jacket. Next up, we've got the shoes. These are the $30 mischief big red boots now if we're talking shoe releases i think this is one of the biggest letdowns of the year before these came out it felt like every single influencer had these super hyped up everyone was keen on them and then when they released the prices absolutely tanked on them don't get me wrong they're still expensive sitting around 600 dollars on StockX for a bit of plastic obviously i don't know the manufacture process but there is just no way these cost over 10 dollars to make I refuse to believe these are anywhere near $600. Currently, these are just sitting on a shelf with my Cause dolls. They look great just around the house as decoration. To wear them, they're actually pretty comfortable. Unfortunately, these only got to a size 10. So if you're Bigfoot gang, unlucky. So I'm a size 11. So I got to squeeze into these. They fit pretty true to size. And like I said, they're comfortable. Unless you've got tree trunk legs, these are pretty easy to get off. I saw a video of someone struggling to get them off. It isn't the case. In terms of how close they are to retail, this batch that I got is actually pretty good. I've seen batches that are far worse. The first thing you want to look for is the shape on them. Some of the early batches, the shape just looks so off. Like if you just want these for decoration or if you want to wear these around, I think this is the batch you want to go for. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the really budget batches, but it's just that nice middle ground where you're getting quality and it's not super expensive. And there's no question these are not worth $600 if any of you paid resale for these. What were you thinking? So out of 10, I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10 got the branding on the bottom you know if you're getting it close to retail i think they did a pretty good job on these mischief boots next up for the shoes we have these strike boots from the 70 dollar batch now i do own the green pair from the 70 dollar batch and this black pair seems to be a little bit different now you guys can let me know do you think they look better or worse than the pair i got i just personally think the distressing they did on the midsole is what's throwing me off they did not need to do that i don't know why they did it there needs to be more distressing on the toe cap and around that area but they decided to do it on the midsole no clue why they did that also a very big downside to this seller is he does not offer returns so if he gives you a dog shit pair of these you cannot give them back now for 70 dollars for this boot however i don't think we can complain if you want to pay 170 dollars for the other batch be my guest for a hundred dollars difference i think these boots are absolutely fine like i said in my last video for the green pair this batch is your only option i've seen no good pairs of the green ones like all the branding's good it's just the shape and the distressing that is completely off on these but once they're on foot you cannot tell at all it's just looking at them side by side with another batch you can really tell that these are quite off however for how far they are off retail i'm gonna have to give them like a 7 out of 10. And I'll let you guys be the judge whether you go for this batch or the $170 batch. So next up, we have this Amiri shirt. Now, this one cost me about $20. And I'm going to say this off the rip right now. For $20, this isn't worth it at all. I've shown you the 33 Trend T-shirts. They're about $10, half the price. And you're getting better quality than this shirt. And it costs double. I think unless you're really into Amiri and you're really into your designer brands, just go for a budget shirt over this one. The blank is this very silky material. It's not my personal favorite thing. But if you like a silky shirt, without a doubt, go for this one. Now, big flaw on it is the back print is super low quality. From the images I was looking at on the internet, the quality of the print looks way better than this one. So take that into account. And I just think for $20, it's not worth it. I mean, it looks cool, but the shirts coming up next are so much better. This is going to get like a six and a half out of 10. Fits pretty true to size, quite a slim fit, small arms. It's just how your designer shirts usually fit. The tags on it, they're correct as well. Next up, we have these four budget represent tees, the red, pink, blue, and the green. Now, straight away, these shirts are 10 out of 10s. These cost just over $10. And for that price, 
the quality you're getting is just so much better than that last Amiri shirt. Really thick necklines and the quality of the prints is absolutely incredible. There's a few different styles you've got in the different colors. The yellow one is like a really washed gray. Another one, they've used a really smooth material. And I just think the colors pop. It is everything I look for in a shirt. And I just think if you're in the market for shirts and you want something clean, not designer, not too over the top, this should be something you're looking at. Not only do they fit good, the colors on them are just super easy to match with shoes and pants. It just ticks all the boxes, in my opinion. If you're lanky like me, this boxy fit is what you want to go for in a shirt. It just fits so much better on my figure. And these shirts, like I said before, are getting a 10 out of 10. If you're in the market for shirts, highly recommend these. Next up, we have these Cortez cargo pants in a classic black and white colorway. Now, straight away with these pants, the floor you want to look for is the logo. The logo on this pair is passable because this is an extra small. But when you go up to the big sizes, an easy floor to spot is the logo just doesn't change size. It's extremely small. On your smaller pairs, it is way easy to get away with. Now, the quality on these is incredible. Cortez quality is out of this world. It's like a really nice cargo material. It's got the belt around it as well. But in terms of quality, this pair in particular is very close to the real thing. I'm going to give it an easy 8.5 out of 10. If they correct the size of that logo, it'd be getting close to a 10. But if you're in the market for cargos, Cortez is definitely one you want to look out for. So next up, we've got the accessories. Now I've got two different accessories you could call. One's going to be a beanie and one is these two pairs of socks. Now I'll start off with the socks because I think socks are so underrated to get in hauls. I don't see enough people buying socks. You guys can be picking up socks for cheaper prices and better quality than going to your local store and just getting a shitty pair of socks. So here we've got two pairs of socks. We've got these pink Cortez socks and we've got these Nike Nocta socks. Now these socks, the first pair, we'll go over the Cortez ones. These cost about $3 and the quality on these socks is absolutely out of this world. The guy that I bought these from specializes in socks. I copped the pink ones to go with my pink 95s. I would have wished if they came in a black and pink colorway, but I think the pink is absolutely fine. The graphic on it is really clean. Obviously, these are pretty loud. So I think if you're not into the loud socks, the next pair will be better. They're quite slim fitting and they are high. So if you don't like high socks, definitely don't buy these ones. Comes in the correct packaging. Everything, these are getting a 10 out of 10. Even if you don't need socks, I recommend just bookmarking this seller. I think this is going to be the go-to for everyone. Moving on to the next ones, we have these Nike Nocta socks in the black and yellow colorway. These are my favorite. These cost about $6. But for $6, you're getting three pairs. And the quality on this pair of socks is out of this world. The little hits of gold just looks so nice with any pair of shoes, any pair of pants. I really recommend these. I think the Nocta logo looks sick. And I just think the black and gold looks super clean. Just like the last pair of socks, these are very tall. So if you don't like tall socks, again, don't buy these. But even down to the packaging, it's got all the Nocta logos. It's even got a retail barcode on it. This sock seller is next up. And I'm definitely going back and copying more socks from him. I have more socks coming in the next haul, but like the other pair of socks, these are an easy 10 out of 10. They take up no space in a haul and they're cheap. There's just no reason you shouldn't be buying socks. We have this beanie. Now, I'm not sure why I bought this. I don't look the best in beanies and this one is extremely big. I have an extremely big head. Like I have a noggin on me. So you small headed fellas, I do not recommend getting this because this thing will just look like a sock on your head. Now the graphic on it looks absolutely incredible. I love this brand. If you think you have a bigger head than me, then go for this. I think it only costs about $5. The materials they used on it are very nice. Like it's premium stuff for the price. The accuracy looks pretty good to the real thing, but the fitment of it is just not my style. So I'll give this like a 7.5 out of 10, but for 90% of you, I don't think it's worth it, but it is a cool beanie nonetheless. If you're still listening to my voice, I just want to thank you guys for showing up to this new channel. You guys have been showing up. My first haul video is already well past 10,000 views. And my next one is climbing like thousands of views every single day. I just want you guys to know the more you support me, the more giveaways I'm going to do on these hauls. And a question to you guys still watching the video. Do you guys prefer the longer hauls that are like 30, 40 kilograms? Or do you prefer the short ones like this that are between like 15 and 20 kilos that are under 20 minutes. Let me know because I can easily get like a 15 kilogram haul out every single week. But if you want the longer hauls, like 30, 40 kilograms, that's going to take me like a few more weeks to build up a 40 kilogram haul. But let me know, do you rather the long hauls or the shorter hauls? I'd be very curious to know. Again, drop a like if you want to see more of these haul videos. Keep showing up to the channel and I'll keep giving away shit. Thank you guys for watching as always. See you guys in the next one. Peace.